high class in order to prepare for you guys the coming torsion exam. Today I will be showing you guys how to calculate the sound venant constant or the torsional constant of a multi-cell beam. So suppose you are given the uh, beam with the following dimension and it is uh, made up by two cells uh, the first cells with the shear flow Q1 and the second cell with the shear flow Q2 and you are asked to determine the torsional constant J of the whole beam so um, we know that the torsional constant J uh, was given as uh, mt divided by G theta mt would be the applied torque uh, on the whole beam G is the shear modulus and theta is going to be the uh, twist per unit length so um, we will start off by determining the applied torque on the whole beam uh, applied torque MT uh, as you already learned in class is going to be equal to 2 times the sum of AIQI. AI could be the error of that cell and Q is going to be the shear flow in that cell. In this case we have two cells so this is going to be equal to 2 times the error of the first cell is going to be 10 times 4 times Q1 which is the shear flow in the first cells plus 2 time area of the second cells is going to be 4 time 2 and time the shear flow is going to be Q2 and this is going to turn out to be 80 Q1 plus 16 Q2 and the next step is going to do is we know that uh, if a torque apply on the whole beam these two cells is going to experience the same uh, twist rate of twist or the twist per unit length. Uh, so that means theta 1 is going to equal to theta 2. That's the, uh, the two cells regardless of their dimensions. If they are in the same beam experiencing the same torque, they're going to have the same twist per unit length. So from that, uh, we all know the formula for the twist per unit length in a multi cells and that's going to be 1 over 2g times the area okay and that is q over t ds the integral of the shear flow over the thickness oh and also remember our beams going to have a uniform thickness of t equal 0.1 inches and that is the uh, twist per unit length for the first cell is going to be equal to the twist per unit length for the second cells. So Q2 over... Okay, and because uh, our beams also experience the same, also have the same shear modulus, that means the T is going to become the thickness, T star is going to become the thickness, the actual T, the thickness of the whole beam. So I'm going to rewrite this uh, equation. That's going to be 1 over A1 time 2, uh, well that's 24 over T time Q1 plus 4 over T times Q1 minus Q2 equal to 1 over A2 times 8 over T Q2 plus 4 over T Q2 minus Q1. And why we have this formula from the uh, integral? Well, 
So the first of all, uh, we see the Q1 right here. That is the shear flows uh, at these three sides. So what you're gonna do is gonna take the perimeters of the dimension that the Q1 is flowing. That is this side, this side, and this side. We see 24 divided by the thickness times the Q1, which is the shear flows uh, flowing in those uh, edges. And then you're gonna plus the uh, shear flows at the uh, this line right here, which is the uh, separation between cell one and cell two, and that is gonna be the length of that divided by the thickness, multiplied by the difference between the shear flow in this length, which is Q1 minus Q2. And that is also the same for shear flows in cell number two. That is the perimeter of the size, like the total length of the uh, site where you have the shear flow Q2 is flowing. That is two plus four plus two is eight, divided by the thickness time the shear flow in those three sides plus D also the same thing as the first cell but instead you're gonna take Q2 minus Q1 because you are uh, calculating the shear flows in cell number two and so uh, expanding out of that and you're gonna and remember the error is number in the first cells is very easy to be calculated, right? It's 10 times 4 is really 40 inch square. And for number 2, which is 2 times 4 is 8 inch squares. So, I'm gonna rewrite the equation as you're spanning everything. That is gonna be 40 divided by 8, which is the area of the first cell divided by the area of the second cell time 80 q2 plus 40 q2 minus 40 q1 and uh, you can do the math over here and it's going to be turn out that q1 is going to equal to 4 over 3 q2 and if you substitute this value back into the torque uh, equation right there, MT. You're gonna come up with the torque. It's gonna be um, 80 Q1 plus 16 times 3 over 4, the Q1, and that is the Q1. It's gonna be M1, MT, sorry, the torque divide by 92 and you're gonna do the same thing and it's going to turn out Q2 is gonna turn out to be at the torque divide by 122.7 all right so um, this is the shear flows written in terms of the applied torque empty now uh, it's time to calculate the twist per unit length, that is the G uh, theta 1, remember theta 1 is, gonna, is equal to theta 2, so this is also the same for 2 cell. I want to rewrite the formula, 2A1 time Q over thickness, integral over the area, and thus turn out to be 1 over 80 time 280 time the torque applied divided by 92 which is Q1 minus 40 time the torque applied divided by 122.7 which is shear flow Q2 and this gonna give you the MT time point zero three three nine seven. So having this uh, relationship between the twist per unit length and the 
um, torque applied, we can easily calculate the shear, the uh, torsional constant. So we write the formula. That is torsional constant equals to torque applied divided by the shear modulus times the twist per unit length. And it's just gonna be one over y three three nine seven. That is turned out to be twenty nine point forty four inch to the four. And that is our final answer for the torsional constant in a multi sales beam with uniform thickness. Alright, thank you for watching guys. Good luck with your exam.